and uh, El Rufai. That is the Kaduna little finger, the El Rufai. And you know, now obedient were there. This is skinny con, this is skinny con. And there are those who are like uh, the normal product of the uh, APCPDP, are uh, somehow disguising or hibernating and present, um, pretending to be your you obedient, okay? So they were there now trying to plant it down. That's how they work, okay? Ah, it's going to be the greatest idea. Surprisingly, eh, some people even believe that this was the handiwork of Kaduna Littlefinger, anyone who has his history, his history of a treasury, his history of uh, propaganda, his history of uh, fanatism and other stuff that you can be very much, have to be very careful around him. He's a dangerous human being. Or the fire of Kaduna, okay? And he spent so much money to try to present a different kind of uh, public uh, personality by telling you that, you know what I mean? No, it's just people who don't like me who talk. So no, he's actually a very, very horrible person. I'm talking about a vi. You know what they, do, what they call vi? People that relishes eh? the, the pains that other people suffer simply because of their religion or try a very vile person bloody terror apologist is a very very horrible human being hell fire of kaduna and i'm not saying this because i probably don't like him no 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 this is a fact okay but however he has his way around trying to plant himself in the major conversation whenever he is not close to the seat of power. He is a very, very dangerous man among many. However, they were pushing this on social media. I don't know if that's one of the things that got her to Shore. That Shore started throwing his own usual tantrum too. Needless snide or snipe. That uh, he's been embarking on since uh, yesterday as well, but I'll come back to that. So it was people projecting that El uh, Rufaya and Obi 2027. Like, how ridiculous can people be? Anyway, that shot created some argument everywhere. And it became a thing. This is like a stupid joke. Then it became a thing that Nigeria media were asking Obi. So yesterday, was well, yesterday I shared with you that Obi was in Gombe, and somebody was like, "Hey, Omogao is in Gombe to go and commission a ball. So the ball is the commission now." Baba, come, let me tell you something. Okay, there is a uh, what do you call it? How can I explain this to you? Uh, there is there is a, a bit of a waiver. Okay. For everyone and anyone who have uh, stood up against the current established structure, political governance, and everything that exists in current contraption called Nigeria, everyone who has stood up, even if what you have stood up for is something that personally I do not believe in. But the fact that you are standing up for something enough will give you a pass on Mayegun's diary political. And I've told you this before. All right. You cannot put the people who have been every power to change the story of Nigeria for the better. Even the story of Nigeria that we have, imaginary Nigeria that we always have. Only if these people are doing well. Only if they can just fix electricity. Only if they can just fix this. Only if they can just focus on this. You know those imaginary Nigeria that majority of you have in your head? Eh? Eh. Now, who are those who have the best chance to make that happen? They are those who have the political power who have in power in different, uh, at different uh, level right now, especially at the center, they are the ones, all right, that could stop the stealing. They are the ones that could stop the spread of this ethnic 
division, tribal division, religious supremacies and intolerance. But when you look at it very well, rather than stop them or reduce poverty or end poverty genuinely, all of their actions is to further impoverish you and me, destroy your businesses, make terrorists flourish while they blame everyone for why the country is not working. They are those who are stealing your money, depleting your forex and all of that. But they want you to blame other people instead of them. And I won't. If Nigeria is to have electricity 24-7, it will start from those who are making the decision. Not you, not me. If Nigeria is to be a safe country, where everybody has their own right, like every citizen in any part of the world, eh? those who are in that government have the chance of making that happen. Not me, not you. Yes, if you are to have these responsible policemen who are really doing police job, not protecting criminals, and then uh, destroying or killing innocent citizens, right? That is not you or from me. It is from them. But you know this whole thing is deliberate. And they want you to blame other people. There are some people who don't want Nigeria to be great. That is coming from the people who are doing everything to destroy Nigeria. Every of their decision. Eh? Economically. PNS, equity is not theirs. What you have is uh, impunity, abi, nepotism, turn by turn. So I'm not going to let you allow, I mean, come here and blame other people because you don't like them. Eh? And feel cool, like, yes, we, I thought we were supposed to be, to be exposing everything. I'm not asking you not to expose. Expose what is actually really illegal or wrong. But there are some passes here, guys. No passes for criminal act or attitude. Though. If Peter will be caught the tape for borehole, or he caught the tape where the, he just changed the bulb of an old woman's uh, front door, eh? it will be a news. If it's going to irritate you, then it's actually doing what I wanted to do. Why? We all believe that we have a common enemy. And that is the establishment, the criminals who have the chance, all right, of actually making our lives better. Enough that you and I shouldn't have time of hating ourselves or hoping that we will have a civil war to kill ourselves. But those who actually benefit from our division, Continue to ensure that lasts in any way. Eh? So if you are, somehow if you believe that we deserve better and the entire establishment needs to collapse and go, that means we all have to be in the same part and on the same side. You will not use your energy. You will not use that same mouth. You will not judge everyone that has managed to stand up against this establishment, no matter how you see it. You won't judge them the same way you will judge those who have the chance of changing your story, but they continue to give you excuses and they continue to make you believe that somebody else is the reason why you are poor. It is somebody else's fault that you cannot be protected in your own land. It must be somebody else's fault, right? That the economy of Nigeria is... Uh, in the gutters, not them, but somebody else, okay? Why you and your family continue to live and exist in that danger? Now, I won't want, I won't want you to do that. It's unfortunate that Shore is not with us on this. A majority of the Shore supporters are also not with us on this. The argument, Peter B is one of them. We've tried to let you see reasons why, even if you disagree with them, Sometimes you are doing the job of APC, the job of PDP, by trying to go after these people who probably should have something similar to you. Yeah, political ideology of Shore is a socialist. Obi is a capitalist. And none and none like that. The argument that are pretty much like healthy in my own uh, stuff. 
shouldn't bring any sort of a disrespect if indeed Showare, our own Showare here, is actually honest with his own advocacy. I'm not like, I'm not questioning that yet. I'm just saying that if uh, the whole uh, gesture is reciprocated, for example, let's say we have a situation whereby Obi and uh, what have you uses his own platform to latch at Showare, rubbish him, and say, well, you that could only get uh, 14,000 of uh, votes in an election and all of that stuff, right? Taking a dig at him like Showare does. I know Showare doesn't see Obi and the obedient as who they are. And that's another disrespect that I believe somehow, somehow, for somebody we should have a better understanding of why everybody found themselves on this road, kind of, right? Uh, is the fact that Showare has no single respect for the obedient and the obedient has no single respect for Showare. I'm not going to say all of you, and I'm not going to generalize too, but the chunk of you from both sides, it seems that there is nothing we do or say that will ever allow all of you to see reason beyond your emotional snowflakes. Okay? But nevertheless, I will continue to be on your sides. Okay? I will continue to encourage all of you that even if you have all this neutral ground where you dig at yourself and you tear yourselves apart, I don't want you to feel comfortable on my egos diary political doing the same because you will be doing the job of uh, APC, Egbe Egbe for them. It is out of respect. I am not asking you to possibly accept yourselves now. But if you do have a better understanding, eh, and you continue to tell yourselves that you don't have anything in common, then you are making the job of uh, Tifnubu and his gang even easier. For me, I have a philosophy in life they said, the way you lay your bed, so you shall lie on it. The reason, not, you know, I've told you this before. I am not uh, a fan of Obi, okay? It is not by choice that I chose to continue to help amplify the voice of uh, millions of people who bought into Obi's idea, an idea that is in total contrast with the established uh, political arrangements in Nigeria. And anything that is going to make uh, the establishment really uncomfortable should be something that somebody like myself will give voice to. Because it is so important that a massive establishment like that of Nigeria with, you know, allies all over the world, allies whose interest in Nigeria is not that of Nigerians, but their own interests. And as we all know, right, your own interests that should be represented and protected by these rogues have been monetized. They've monetized, suppose said, what should be the benefit of Nigerians for having them as, or yeah, for having them, I mean, having them as your leaders. But they've monetized it. So if you have anyone who is going to make them remember that this could end and will end soon, the ideal thing is to encourage ourselves not to tear ourselves apart, okay? And the reason why I always share their story is that sometimes I feel like a lot of you agree with me out of principle or out of respect, but something inside you, there is an impulse inside you that the moment you see Shoure on this screen now, you will begin to abuse him as obedient. The moment you see Peter be on this, your screen right now, you will begin to attack him as a Shoure supporter. And I do not really want to condone that. Okay? Because majority of those who actually watch his Mayagun's diary political, they do so quietly. And there are those who read all this, your comment too. I do not want to close comments because I really want this to be engaging. I want this to be involving. I want all of us to actually interact like a community. Argue respectfully. Why is it so hard to tell people to respect themselves when you know you have something in common? Eh? Well, a lot of you will say Shoure is the instigator. I have seen Shoure's outburst here and there. And honestly speaking, I do not have any inkling or any idea of how to actually ask Shoure and say, Baba, is this about your principle? Or it is, should this be about your principle, one? 
and uh, or it should be about uh, the people yearning for good leadership or direction where they want to believe that leadership is about compromise for the bigger picture for the generality or sorry for the common good is that not what they say so sure i know you are likely going to be seeing this video at some point baba that's what i will ask you personally Che you get and say sometimes you know as leaders you can say your idea your belief your conviction all right is what drives you and possibly this is also what drives those who believe in you but for the bigger picture in a sense because i remember that uh, Shore wasn't really nice to us too the yoruba national campaigners figure that he's really not nice to us it was pretty much like if you are not on the same boat with Shore, you are just wasting your time kind of eh? and is not listen it's not the only person who owed this belief but you see when you are looking at when you are fighting or you are up against a formidable sort of an establishment who ordinarily doesn't really recognizes religion tribe and all of this is about class it's only us that are divided by all of these nuances okay all of this uh, eh? so when you are up against an establishment like that of nigeria eh? sometimes you can look at the bigger picture beyond that your personal conviction to some extent where's some little compromise here and there just for the bigger good look at what happened in senegal yeah sonko was a force it was such a big force that when he was sent to jail he had to tell everybody from his own political party and all of that and said they should all support another it not really unknown but relatively unknown personality like that of uh, Bissiri, uh Faye. There are forces that can come together when people begin to see beyond just you and your ideal and all that. Look at the bigger picture. That's what I see enough. That is why I, I, I will be very much comfortable with the Biafrans. I will be comfortable with my own bro uh, brothers, the Yorubas. I will always be comfortable with uh, the Kwarafas who have made it public that they would love to have their own uh, country too. I would never look down on the Arewas who have also spoken out and said, if Nigeria wants to break, let it break, they would they will have their own Arewa. I won't look down on you because you are a revolutionary and all that. I won't say, I won't see impossibility in what you are doing. Because the real bigger picture is that all of you, the socialists, the capitalists, the Catholic, the Muslims, the uh, ATC, uh, everybody would have to actually come together under one bigger umbrella where direction is defined, a purpose is set. And around that time, everybody's sort of uh, hope and aspiration who align freedom is big is massive and if you can endure to get it oh dear it's so rewarding inside it you can have everything that every one of you wanted every one of us that is the bigger picture i won't spend my time here to kind of do you think i don't see all the all the negative things that could give media vibe eh, from every camp i do but whose favor do you think i am doing or whose bidding do you think i am doing when i choose or use my platform to amplify all those negative things that apc and the entire establishment so to say are paying a fortune to ram down your throat to make you have something or reason why when they talk about anything to say free yourself from mental slavery free yourself from this free yourself from that you will have something or a reason why you cannot be part of that no i cannot be part of that because it's a show right? i can never be part of anything like that because they are egos i don't trust all this yoruba and this you know they will, they will give you one reason why you cannot be part of it but are you genuinely interested in that freedom 
Oh, you just believe. And listen, oh, in this contraption called Nigeria, eh, none of us is living without the support of uh, the others. Oh. Yeah, we would need all to come together and destroy the establishment that is that has made it more deadly eh, to be a Nigerian than to be an Oduduan or a Yoruba United uh, States of Yoruba land. Yeah, that's a name. I told you. All of you have problems with self rules, either in Biafra or Yoruba nation. You are, see, this is something, this is, an, uh, you know, this is a topic that should be so engaging. We should be engaging ourselves. You see, we shouldn't be hating on ourselves or calling on our murderers, people who want to kill us anyway, calling on them to come and deal with us while we stay apart. None of us is living without uh, the support of the other. The reason why you are not getting that support today is because uh, the establishment loves us divided. And that is why Nigeria is still Nigeria. Once all of us are united on purpose, right? They won't have this Nigeria anymore. It's going to be a different one. And I promise you, right? It's going to be the one that will kind of uh, align with all these your yearnings. But a lot of you are not seeing the bigger picture. For me, I will continue to, to say it. I will continue to say it. Sometimes you just have to see bigger picture. You don't, sometimes, you know, it's not because you, listen to this, oh, in this struggle, right, you have to love beyond, you have to, you need to love and be loyal beyond that your family and your tribe. You will need to begin to learn how to trust other people. But if you continue to suspect ourselves, that's what they wanted it to be. Continue and see how you have the whole strength to actually get, get it at them. I do not support their election. I do not, you know what I mean? But I will support an election, which is a referendum. Because somebody like me knows that I may not want to be part of their electoral process or political process because I have seen enough and I know that it is a total waste of time, right? So I won't be part of it. But I also believe that if uh, the table turns, it will have to be some people who will turn the table. The table is not going to turn by itself. Pressure here, pressure there. Disagreeing with the status quo. Pushing and pushing here and there. And you are pushing for uh, the independence of the Yoruba nation, the independence of Biafra. Others are pushing their own political, whatever it is, right? So if the table has to turn, some people have to turn the table. And you must also have the culture of understanding that referendum is, a, is election, is campaign. Where we would still have to engage ourselves, disagree. You will see campaign vehicles. This one is campaigning for Yoruba nation. This one is campaigning for against Yoruba nation. This one is campaigning for Biafra. This one is campaigning against the Biafra. You cannot violently threaten those who say no. Okay? You must imbibe the culture of engagement because the majority will carry the day anyway. And it's it is a serious work to the point that when that table turns and the conversation goes into, do you still want to be part of Nigeria or not? People like us are going to champion, not only champion political parties that are pro-independence, okay? We will champion campaigns. We will raise funds all over the world. We will raise awareness, campaigning for the referendum of Yoruba people from Nigeria. You see, that table, before it turns, for these rogues, eh? Yorubas, Igbos, Awusas, Pulani, Zijos, Nishekiri, all of them, they are all involved in holding the table. It must not turn. They want all of us to die like this. But if you don't see the bigger picture, you are helping them by thinking you have something to say about uh, Obi, or you want to say something about the obedient and all they have done, or you do have something to say about Showere, as well as the revolutionists as well, or you are wasting your energy to continue to undermine uh, Unamdikanu and IPOB. Or yours is to continue to mock the Yoruba nation campaigners. Trust me, you are only doing the bidding of uh, the APC, free of charge. And I won't be part of that. And I won't let you do it here, too. Do you get that now? Uh, so, yeah, he was there where he was also asked about uh, if he was going to be peering the, uh, the terrorist, El Rufaya of Kaduna. I want you to listen to what you have to say to them. Yes, 
Thank you, man. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you, man. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been going around the country trying to, in various communities, support areas of need. Today, the seventh. Today, the seventh of April, I'm here in Gombe, and I came to this market. You know, Pantami market to be able to help them in area of water supply. That's the point what I just mentioned. In area of water, because you could see their business here. You can see the, all the rams. All the rams and everything here. You could see them here. Being so, but they don't have water. For you to have such a business, you need water. So that's what we provided. And we're also going to support some individuals that will do remotely and send them some little money to support them, about 100 of them. That will be done and everything. So that's what we are doing. And I decided to come into the market itself to price the ram, which you can see, the smallest, like this one that they're looking here, which is, being, which is about eight last year, about 40,000. Is now double the price. Uh, the salary is just by the corner. So you can see that it's going to be difficult for everybody, especially families, to celebrate. And this is what we are seeing that things have doubled, things have tripled. It makes it even the poor more difficult to live in our society. One of the issues that made Nigerians grow now is the issue of electricity tariffs. Over the few days now, Nigerians are also growing under the increase. What's your reaction to that? Well, my reaction to everything that is happening here is that we should all think it through, see how we can provide remedy, you know, how we can deal with it, especially as it concerns the poor areas. Everywhere in the world is known that those who are living in high band area pay more, while those in low areas are subsidized. That's the way it works. Thank you. Uh, so, reports have it that you are, you are contemplating leaving the Labour Party for another party because of the crisis that are and there is one no, there's no, there's no, there's no such thing. I'm for peace. Yes, but I like peace. But let me bother you. I believe that we are one. We are one people. Our concentration should be on peace. Okay, let's and I believe we will resolve all situations. There are recent online reports suggesting you are pairing with the former Kadnasti government. Is there any reaction to it? Well, I'm more interested now. I'm more interested now in Nigeria's feeding today than about tomorrow. We're always, we're always, we're always, we're always concentrating about the election rather than what Nigerians are going through. My commitment is about Nigerians living in a better society, living a better life. You could see this business without water for years. That's what we should care about. And that's my... Thank you.